What's up, y'all? You saying y'all new? What? Okay. <laughs> What's up, y'all? You saying young and informed with your girl Lex, and we're out here in Memphis, Tennessee, with Sumo the artist. Hey, y'all, it's me. It's me. <laughs> if y'all can see, like we're in good vibes. Do you say it in here by the by chance? I did all the time. Girl, y'all, yes. if I if you can't feel it to the camera, like you can just feel the energy, creativity, it's color. Good. You know see. Yes. Me. So, how long have you been doing art? Um, like full time. Well, I've been doing art for seven years, mm. and so full time, five <laughs> years full time. <laughs> so, so like yeah. this is mainly what you do, like yeah. for life. Like I have another job, but like it's my side job to me. <laughs> ah, that's actually a good way to look at it. Mm. So I like that. Mm. So how long have you had this gallery? I've been here a year, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's not long at all. Yeah. Oh, we just close it back on. Um, yeah, we're having technical difficulties. Mm -hmm. Don't matter. <laughs> Snatch it back. <laughs> so, how old were you when you first started painting? Um, um, how old was I? I don't know. 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 Like, like quotes, quotes and stuff. And stuff. Oh, inspirational quotes. Cool. Like, this is when I first started. So. That's kind of cool, too, because I had a garden. I would actually put those Dang, in the garden. Yeah. Oh my I would think about that. Because I still have some of them. That would be dope. Yeah. And it's kind of like, okay, so I know we talk right at y'all, but like, also, you too, know. people do like money trees, and I think it'd be dope, too, because that's like your first. And it'll, it'll be a five minute fish too. No, my mother, yeah. She's just giving me that. Thank you. So, so, when you were, let's go back from the beginning. So, you first started with the tiles. So, that was kind of how you knew, like, you kind of enjoy painting and things? Yes, because then, like, I remember posting it. I used to have an Etsy. I mm. posted them on Etsy. Um, and then I realized when I posted them on Facebook, like, people was interested in me. So then I yeah. was like, I can sell this stuff, like I can make money. How much were you selling them for? Big, pretty big piece of tile, like a floor tile. Mm -hmm. And you were young, so that's a good hustle. Yeah, definitely. Started. Yeah. So what? After that, what? How did you become sumo? Like, girl, high school. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, so I went to Southwind. If you're from Memphis, yeah, I know this in the east. I went to Southwind. <laughs> And we didn't wear uniforms. Mm. So I started painting on my clothes so they would look different. You know. That's so dope. I'm not wearing the same stuff to school every day. Yeah. Um, and then people started asking me, you know, where you get your clothes from? Mm. And I'm like, I really just wore this, you know, but it looked yeah. different. So people got interested like that. And then uh, my name, Sumo, I got it. Um, this girl was cool in high school. Uh, she was like a uh, black and hat friend. Mm. And so her grandmother came to Memphis a lot. She didn't know how to say my name. And my name's Samaya Janae, so she would call me Sumo J. Like, saying it out together. <laughs> and I just took it Sumo J, and I've been Sumo mm. since then. Yeah. And that fits, fits too, because, like, mm. you know what's actually funny, though? Because Sumo, I don't even know Sumo wrestler, and, like, yep. you're just this little skinny, you know, Thank petite, you. you know? And it's like, Sumo, you think, like, just yes. this, like, big person. Every time. Like, mm. I take live, you know what I'm saying, go places. And yeah. they always, like, I was expecting somebody. Literally. Every time I get in the car. Literally. Yes. That's funny. It's kind of cool too because I remember how people would come do the custom things to their clothes. It's all like yeah. the one kid in school. Yep. So would they, would you ever like charge people to do it? Um, I didn't, um, in high school, I probably wasn't. I really didn't start mm. charging until I got to college. Because mm. I went to U of M for two years. Um, but see, when I graduated high school, you know, I dropped out, which I, I'm at peace with, and I'm cool with saying. But, um, like, when I went to high school and when I graduated, I was like, if I go to college, I really just want my business to take off. Literally. I didn't really have, like, a educational drive, yeah. if I'm going to be honest. I really went to, like, push myself to get my name out there. Mm. And then once I got to the, I, then I dropped out. That's, that's actually yeah. smart, though, because you know yeah. what? <laughs> I've learned on this journey that... And if you want to go to college, I definitely recommend it yeah, as well. Definitely not knock it out. But you I don't. Go 
I so I think the experience is more so valuable to me than what I actually learned. Like I learned camera work, a little thing like that, but at the same time I've met so many people who did like self learning. Mm -hmm. Like and a, a great example is like DJ King. Mm -hmm. He stopped going to U of M and he blew up. Literally. And I remember him at U. Yeah. Yes, I remember him. So once you got to college, you kind of got your name on the networking. Cause I remember you on the underground wave, and that's kind of how oh, I met you. Was you. I was talking to actually Slime today, and yeah. it was the Bat Cave, right? Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about that underground wave. Cause I remember when I first met you, you were already sumo. You know, yeah. you had the clothes, the hippie vibe. Yeah, thank she you. She was very <laughs> just like, it's me. Thank you know, you. like for real. Thank you, thank you. So. What about that wave kind of like, like how did you learn about that wave? Um, I, you talking about the underground? Yeah, yeah like, it, like, it, it, it really, really was underground, underground for a second. second. Like, like you kind of had, had to find it. It, it was it there, there, but how did I find it? That's a great, I probably, I probably was like a, I'm just thinking being at U of M, college yeah. events, I probably just happened to find it. Mm. Or know somebody that was going. Oh, it's like an event. And they knew somebody, yup. I can't I remember how, how I was in that when they had the uh, pajama party. Oh yeah. That was the first time, like the first time really? I went out to a scene event. Mm -hmm. Like I had been, you know, at the den it used to be a uh, Hattie Lou Theater. And they used oh. to have open mics and stuff there. Like, I remember I had yeah. been there when it was that. So, you know, that was my first time being like around the underground scene there. Mm -hmm. In their whole arena and stuff. Yeah. Like, that, that was, that was the movie theater vibe. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. that. Yeah. I can't remember, remember the first, first event actually. I just, I just remember, remember I saw, I saw Rose, Rose Quartz and she, and was, she was doing, doing this, this whole. whole yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yes. uh, I'm a fan. I am a fan. I am a fan. If you see this, I am a fan. Yes. <laughs> I remember <laughs> seeing funny. her like do that wavy, and it was the first time I got to experience like just radiating energy. Mm -hmm. Like that was the first time I've seen it. You did express it down loud. Yes, and everyone was so unique and different. So with that yes, being said, I was almost every single OG in the game. game. And there's, there's OG, OGs, OGs like, like whole way before us. us. Um, what, what was maybe your favorite, favorite thing about, about that era wave? Girl, that era, I feel like it was. We were really a family. The yeah. people, we really like fucked with each other. That's true. That's true. And it was like and you know that whole wave. Like everybody go through shit. It's friends. It's Memphis, a CD, whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, we went through shit with each other and made... That's how I feel like. That's Cause true. Because I'm still... I still fuck with a lot of them people, too. That's true. Shout out to y'all. You know? And you know who you are. Y'all was there. <laughs> y'all know the whole era we talking about. Y'all was there. That was a good vibe. Yeah. And it... I, I always bring it up because it was a good vibe. It also mm -hmm. established a lot of us from the base. To where when we see somebody who's now succeeding, it's like, okay, you know I ain't just here to... Because, mm -hmm. you know, you here now. And it's all I love. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So moving back to your art, and then I would like to get into your spiritual life. I think a lot of people are really interested in that too. Dreaming. I I dream. You know, I I'm able to accomplish things because I am a dreamer. Mm. And she, I probably dream more than I be present. You know, that's also yeah. the thing I have to work on as a person. I ain't even gonna lie, but. I'm and why you say that though? I think I think that's actually kind of part of your essence though. Yeah. You know, it's like to be otherworldly. Mm hmm Wow. Like how you said that ain't nobody ever said it. For real. Like that's that's kind of the vibes you give. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do fuck with it. But let's talk about inside of Sumo. So what brings you at peace? If you have a rough day, what do you do to kind of calm it down? Um, breathing. Mm -hmm. And like as I uh, you know, continue to evolve I just keep learning and breathing like if you can control your breathing my high school theater teacher told me this if you can control your breathing you can control anything because mm. it's like in a moment of anxiety pressure excitement like you just slow your breathing down you'll just come back to yourself and you see any moment I like that any moment. and I, that's something I have to work on because it's something you have to like consciously work on that's true. Mm -hmm. I never thought of it like that either because I know when I get really anxious, I'm just kind of like exert, exert, exert because mm -hmm. I feel like I got to get it out that way. But we breathing's in, true. You know, and it helps you go in because then when you breathe, you really slowing your thinking down. Mm. You slowing everything down because you have to like actually be like, let me not panic right now. That's smart. You got to actively like, let me just, you know what I'm saying, bring 
Get on in. <laughs> yup, that's how I be. What, would, it on in. what would you describe is your spirituality? Um, I just be like, intention is my religion. Because mm. I just know if your intention is good and genuine and real, everything going to go. That's true. And that's like, uh, like love is the highest frequency. So if your love is real and it's intentional, only good things gonna come to you. There is no other way. I like that you said that. Um, and I don't mean to talk about religion, but it's like true. I've probably been through almost every religion. I'm trying to yeah. experience it all. I even got a Buddhist tattoo on my ankle, yeah. across on the other ankle. But see, I like stuff like that too. Like yeah. that's just knowledge. That's true. You're just learning everything, so you know how to approach everything. That's true, and for me, I've learned that all religions base is love. So when you're talking about like love. That's what we're meant to do is love each other, be one. And it kind of sucks too, because like, I think as humans, it's natural for us to get angry. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I think what separates breathe. us, the breathe, okay, Girl, yeah. You start breathing when you mad. Like, I think I did that one time and I ended up laughing at myself. Really? Like, you know, I really have power over myself. Mm. I was laughing, like, you was really finna get mad, yes. I think I need to start doing that, yes, especially girl. like... You was about to let yourself get mad over something. You mm -hmm. have no control over but you got control over calming yourself down. I like that. I mean, I'm definitely, yeah. next time I get upset, I'm really gonna think about that. Yeah, just... Like, you know how you get mad and your first thing is like... <gasps> yeah, you can't breathe at all. Just, you know, angry be like... Yeah. Like just girl, hold whatever you gotta do, just slow it down and get this shit out. I like that. Even the pressure, you know when you mad, you feel pressure in your chest and all that. That's true. Just let it feel that shit and then reverse it out. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. And I had to learn not to uh, fight stuff. Mm. Like if I'm mad, let me be mad. So then I can see if I'm mad for a dumb reason. Or yeah. oh, is this really something I need to be mad? So like take the time and then come back after you done breathing. I like that y'all. If y'all don't learn nothing else, that was really that was actually really, really amazing. It is essential. It would change your life. When you conscious of your be you really can conquer yourself. You know, which is what we all here to do. Find your inner peace. That's it. I like that. Thank you. Now back we're going we're still in the mind of uh, Sumo. Yes. So you actually were telling me before the interview that you have a lot of talents. Oh yeah, girl. That, I do a lot of stuff. <laughs> Y'all, she does photography, you content yeah, create. Yeah, yeah. She was showing me the flyer, the graphic design. I was like, this is intentional.com, okay? You can find everything. Book me for anything you need. Literally. Literally everything. And she really makes good clothing too. Like, yes, it, yes. I actually like that you make clothing and you wear your clothing too. Yes. So you know, like, okay. She, like, she's a party. Yeah, I just believe everything should have paint on. Mm. Like blank canvases don't make sense to me. Does it like do something to you? See a blank canvas? It's like I gotta do something. Yes, because like when I see stuff, I see it painted already. Interesting. That's how I visualize everything. Because I remember, <laughs> so um, actually, what was it yesterday? The other day, it was the bazaar. The bazaar. Art bazaar. Art bazaar. Yes. And I remember this girl had the tank top mm -hmm. or a halter top, and she's like, "How much is it?" You were like, "Oh, it's so and so," but. I could paint it for you, yes. <laughs> and I could tell you really were like, oh, let me paint it for you. Know, you. That's what I do. I love on the spot customs, and um, like you know, we talking about anxiety being yeah. Like when I do shows, I'm chill, y'all. I'm so chill, but it's still natural to be, you know, yeah. interacting with people. It's a new thing all the time. That's so true. for me, like to be at shows, um, I can't just have all my stuff done and just sit there, you know, waiting on somebody mm. to walk up and look at me. Like for me, painting helps me like kinda like, get active. Yes, with it. and not Smart. freak out about, you know, interaction or anything like that. I think that's good too, because then they can see you actively working with like, oh what's she doing? And then it opens yeah. up the conversation. I think that's smart. And then don't make it awkward. You know, that's people true. walk up and it's like, do you want to buy it? Do you want to look at it? Do you want to ask a question? Yeah. That's smart. Yep. <laughs> Be Thanks. nothing but peace and blessings in this yes. film. Thank you for even having me, especially Thank in you. your mind, literally. Yep. Y'all can smell the sage in here. It's just so if beautiful. If y'all want to come in here, y'all can just book a day in a time. And this is intentions.com. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> hey, thank you for being here. Thank you. Yes. Make sure to book her. Make sure to check out her art, her music, the content creator, the website, everything, y'all. Make sure to stay informed, like, and subscribe to this video. We'll see you next time.